Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of fetal duodenal atresia. A young married female patient came with amenorrhea for 9 months. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the longitudinal section of the fetal abdomen showing a dilated stomach and the proximal part of the duodenum is also dilated. You can see the communication between the dilated stomach and the dilated proximal duodenum. This appearance is known as double bubble sign which is indicative of duodenal atresia. The amniotic fluid volume was increased indicating polyhydramnios which is common in duodenal atresia. Here on axial section of the abdomen you can see the double bubble sign, the distended stomach and the proximal duodenum which are connected to each other. These two bubbles should be on each side of the spine. We know the stomach lies on the left side and the duodenum on the right. Sometimes distended stomach may confuse you with the double bubble sign. Searching for these bubbles on each side of the spine may help overcome that situation. So here is the picture of the double bubble sign, two cystic areas and obviously this cystic area might be anything other than the duodenum. So to confirm it you should check the communication which we are looking at here and this communication will exclude the other differential diagnosis. The fetus was of around 34 plus weeks gestation and it was a male fetus as you can see the scrotum and penis on the right image. So on summary, a 34 plus week sized single life intrauterine gestation is noted. Dilated fetal stomach and duodenum is seen giving double bubble appearance. Polyhydramnios is also present. These features conclude it as a case of duodenal atresia. We had opportunity to evaluate this patient after delivery. Due to persistent vomiting on the first 24 hours, the neonate was transferred to a tertiary level pediatric hospital for further management. Now the take home message. In case of double bubble sign, it is very important to demonstrate a connection between the two fluid field structures to exclude other differential diagnoses like Foga duplication cyst and any other abdominal cystic lesions. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.